Hello viewers and welcome back to another build video. Um, yes, I'm back. It's been a while, um, but I've just been busy. Um, and today we're going to be having a look at the uh, De Havilland Tiger Moth. Don't know how long I've had this kit exactly. You can see the price there. So I've expertly left that on. It's twelve ninety nine, um, which is fair price, gotta say, because it's one of the slightly bigger Airfix kits. Um, not the sort of the ten quid ones, but the slightly up, so that makes sense. Um, an interesting plane, you know. I'd say not uncommon, but like I see it quite a lot. Like at air shows, it features quite regularly and things, but um, not not obviously. It's a training aircraft, but so it's not obviously a fighter or anything. I think it's the. Uh, I'm trying to think now. Yeah, I think it's the first plane that I've built with no guns on it. So there's a thing. Um, and well, it's, you can see it's got two decal schemes. It's got a um, or the, it's the Royal Navy one, the top there, and then a at the bottom. I believe that's. Um, I don't know, but it's stationed in Papua New Guinea. So whether it's like Royal Australian Air Force or something like that, I don't know. But yep, um, the kit's pretty um, small. If you open it. Um, I think I've opened it. Oh yeah, I've already been through it. There we are. Get the get the get the plastic out of the way. So yeah, it's only uh only really three sprues. Um, nothing too incredible. But you know, nice, you know, decent little size thing. Quite small actually. Um, but the kit looks quite good. I think it's quite modern airfix, so it's not like an old like kit with new boxing, like the Fairy Battle I've just finished. Oh dear, that was a interesting experience. But hey, um, better get started on it then, I guess. Hello. Well, some progress has, you know, taken place. Um, I've. I've started working on the cockpit, and I'm quite happy with it actually. Um, it's, I'm actually putting quite a lot of effort into it, which is, I don't normally do. Um, and I've so on the inside, I you know do the basic cockpit green and things. And I've done some dry brushing and then did a small black wash. I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's better than what I'd normally do. And then for the seats, which I'm particularly proud of, I've done a. I did the black wash and the dry brushing things, but I've made some um, seat belts out of masking tape, which is very fiddly, but it's the first time I've done it. I think it looks quite nice, really. And although you'll probably never see it, you know, it's the joiner, I guess, you know it's there. Um, I've also painted some other things, and I've got the decals ready to be, well, they're on there. They should have set by now. Use some solution to keep them on there and things, so we'll be putting those in soon. And yeah, um, all coming along good. Um, I suppose I, I don't know what I do next. See what next is in the instructions. And well, quite a lot's happened since I last spoke to camera about it. Um, I'll run you through it. I've well, I've built the thing really. Um, I just haven't got the decals on, and the camera is not focusing. There we are. Um, so I've just put um, a gloss varnish over some of the uh, you know, decal areas and um, I've done a really stupid thing and I've gone and lost the uh, paint scheme. So <laughs> I'm going to have to do some, well I've got well I've got an image of the side so like that angle so I know all the decals are on the side it's just the round wheel so I'm just going to have to, I don't know, guess or something. Um, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, I guess I'll probably come back when uh, I've I've done that. And here we go. That is it complete. Um, took quite a while actually. It's quite difficult to paint. Um, obviously with the two two wings and things, but overall, I'm very happy with it now. I messed up the uh, the decal on uh, on this side a bit, but hey. Don't need to see that side, do you? That's not going to be on the thumbnail. Um, and yeah, it. I really do like the look of it. Get my shadow out of the way. And try actually focus for once. I think it's a, it's a very nice kit. It goes together well. Um, just quite difficult. It's a bit fiddly, you know, it's biplane. That's just the nature of the aircraft. Not the problem of the kit. 
there's not much more you could do to make this simpler. Yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I think I think I hope if you you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, um, do give it a like. You know, and if you really like it, you can subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, what I'll do next, I don't know now. I've got loads of kits though to choose from. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.